Hello guys, welcome back to another Fortnite map change video and this is a really good day today. We've actually got some really nice changes within the Fortnite map and I cannot wait to show you guys today. Can we please get a huge thumbs up on the channel? It would mean so much right now. Let's get into the video and let's just show you all these beautiful map changes and oh my goodness, let's get going. So basically the first change right now, if you haven't noticed, the visitor is building a sort of rocket area platform. This is what this has been used for. He is building a rocket area. This is the exact same area as this and I am extremely excited to show this to you guys today. And yes, that's right guys, there is also gameplay of the rocket if you guys want to. There will be a video later today on the channel showing you guys the rocket gameplay. Link in the description down below right now if you guys want to see that video of the rocket gameplay. But oh my goodness guys, this is sick. And honestly, this is exactly what we've been waiting for the whole time. You can see here that he's actually been taking apart the mech and creating a rocket that is what he he has been doing with the mech he's been creating the rocket and then basically creating this sort of rocket area here so that's the first change for you guys today the next change well is probably one of my favorite ones they've actually created a brand new area in the map and also brought back a beloved area as well so as i predicted there was a prison that was right on this hill like i said it was going to be and you can see here that the prison is right on the side of this map. It's not currently loading right now. But this is probably one of my favourite locations ever inside of Fortnite Battle Royale. It isn't exactly in the same position as it was before. It would have actually been around about here in the, in the old days. But it's a little bit further up so I'm super excited about this. You guys can come and visit here. This is the brand new prison. And I'm just... It's, it's pretty much identical as what it was before, so it's really, really cool. And to be honest, one of my favourite landing locations way back in the day. So I definitely recommend you guys come visit the prison, which actually originally had a big meteor in it. That was in Season 4 when the meteor hit it. But um, I think it's actually a little bit smaller. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys come down here, you can see that Moisty and Paradise have merged into one. Um, so I'm super excited about this. This is where one of the... OG locations. You can see this is one of the trees that had all the all the chests on it and it's merged into one. If you come over here, this is just making this location a lot better. This actually makes it much... To be honest, this improves it a lot. And this is actually the original sort of block here that brought back this, which is super, super exciting. This is how we knew that it was going to be Moisty Paradise, this um, particular building here. But you can see that there's lots of different... Um, areas to go in it's pretty much the same layout but it's just added a parrot you know a moisty effect on it so it's not really too much um new stuff in this there's a couple more chests at the back but it, all it does is just change the theme of the area so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think about this i prefer it like this because i i don't actually like the desert um side of the map too much but yeah you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this there seems to be a lot of vending machines in this area, which is quite interesting. So you guys can see here there was more vending machines at the front here. Maybe this is just because of the fact that we're in replay mode, um, in playground, sorry. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about that. But if you guys come over to the next map change for you guys today. So basically the little hut is basically still getting built. You can see that there is a roof on it now. And to be honest, this is one of my favourite little huts in the game and I'm super excited about this. I wonder what this will turn into um, eventually. It's probably just going to be a simple building, but I love that this was actually one of the original cube destroyed buildings so you know we just have to wait and see what happens in terms of that but yes guys this is the most exciting part in fact and i and it's actually a prediction i made a prediction of the the obviously the cube was going to move and um, through this but i'm actually surprised it didn't get affected while when it moved through but you can see here that we've got greasy grow back in the game but we've actually got a couple a couple of little changes because it looks like it's been changed in terms of what dimension was pulled from As you can see here there's a couple of changes the basketball court is at the opposite side of the map it used to be over here in fact there's two basketball courts now and um, but you can see here the big one is the taco so we've got a taco shop this is a brand new um sort of food in the game 
Um, you can see here, this was used to be a rundown Durburger building, but now we've got a fully, you know, taco shop, which is really, really cool. And to be honest, will this create another food war within the Fortnite map? That would be quite cool if there was another food war. Um, because we've got a lot of new sort of food people within the game. So, you know, I'm super excited about this. You guys are going to have to let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. But this is super, super exciting. You can see that the cube is moving further forward. This, there is some leaked gameplay of this cube cracking. I did make a video, The I think it was the, the previous video I made, was actually to do with the cube cracking. But you can see here, this is what we predicted. There was going to be a big circle. Um, I would have actually have liked to have seen more snow. I am not a big fan of the snow areas, guys. I would love to see Shifty Shafts become green again. I much prefer it was green. But um, for that, that is super, super um, exciting as well. But if you guys want to have a look, there is also... I don't know if this has been changed. I actually haven't had a look yet. But there is leaked gameplay. Well, not, no, not leaked gameplay. Leaked um, things in the files where this base, the supervillain base, is going to be rebuilt again, guys. That's right. The, build, the base is going to be rebuilt. So you're going to have to let us know what you guys think about that change as well because this... To be honest, with this being rebuilt, there's you know that, that this opens up so many different possibilities because we've still got the visitor building beacons. I, I would have actually liked to see more locations. I mean, we're coming into week seven, so round about week seven, this is where the storyline kicks off. It's the same every single season. At week seven, we get the storyline that kicks off. So to be honest, guys, I was talking in one of my previous videos. We've got the cube, we've got the cube island, we've got um, the meteor. We've also got the center area over at Loot Lake, and now we've got a rocket. There are so many aspects that this Fortnite event could take place. I just cannot wait for this event. Um, we've got a lot of things we need to worry about. We've got this meteor that's going to crash in our maps. What is the island going to do? Um, and obviously the rocket's going to cause more rifts. It's just going to be a crazy season this end. And if you guys haven't noticed, every single time a new rift is formed this area here cracks a little bit more you can see here there's a more of a crack inside of this area so this is just going to be affected more and more and more and i don't think it's going to be able to handle much more there is i think there's probably most likely going to be one more rift at this side of the map probably bringing a little bit of lazy links back a lot of people were saying they'd quite like to see wailing woods return let me know if you guys want to see that as well um, but other than that, that is, you know, us rounding up the map changes for today's video. Um, the big one for me is the fact that we're going to be seeing a rocket being constructed throughout the next couple of the season. And to be honest, I'll probably be landing... Actually, I probably won't be landing um, Moisty Palms too much. I might go there a couple of times. It's really going to be Greasy Grove and the prison that I like... Um, Prison is one of my favourite locations in the game. Obviously, everybody's going to be landing here since it's a brand new location. It happens every time we get new locations in the game. So, you just be expecting that. Um, but, you guys can have to let me know what you guys think about this. I'm super excited about this. I think this is a really, really good update. A really solid map change video for today, guys. Um, I love when we get a lot of map changes like this. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. Especially because we're coming up to the end of the season. And I'm super interested to see how they're going to be changing the map for next season as well. Because considering we're getting map changes every single pretty much week. Um, I'm wondering how they're going to be planning the next season's update. Because obviously as you guys know every single season end. We need, they, well, obviously Fortnite need an excuse to change the map up. So anyway I'm kind of going to have to leave you guys there on this video right now if you guys want to support me as a creator it is omg bull and um, it means so much when you guys use my support creator code because it just supports me um and in general and i do appreciate every single one of you guys that watch the videos i know all youtubers really say it but i really honestly mean it guys if you guys support the channel and um it just means so much to me guys so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next fortnite battle royale video i will be doing map changes every time I will be doing challenge videos and, you know, I just do all sorts of videos in Fortnite related. I do a little bit of leaks as well. I might do a little bit more leaks because I feel like there is a... I feel like a lot of you guys do quite enjoy the leak videos. Obviously, there's a, quite a lot of leakers out there, but I feel like I can, um, you know, put my opinion across on certain topics within the Fortnite map. And thank you for everybody that's sticking around on the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next Fortnite Battle Royale video. Peace out, guys. I hope you guys have a really good day or night to where you are. Goodbye.